In the heart of a realm where magic danced in the air like fireflies at dusk, there existed a land known as Draconia. Here, towering mountains kissed the sky, lush forests whispered secrets, and rivers sang melodies of old. But most notably, dragons soared through the azure heavens, their majestic forms casting shadows upon the land below. Amidst this realm lived a young adventurer named Epic. He was born with an insatiable thirst for adventure and a heart as brave as a lion's. From a humble village nestled between the Emerald Hills, Epic dreamed of exploring the mysteries of Draconia and carving his own destiny. This is where our story begins. Welcome to Mind Colonies, Magic Kingdoms. What's up, YouTube? It is Epic Games TV, and we are back again for another episode of our Magic Kingdoms. Woo! -hoo! But uh, we have been a little busy. What a beautiful sunny day. When I first got onto the server, it was raining. But uh, we got some sleep. The sun has come out, and we did some building. Uh, you can see over there behind us. Uh, Builder's Hut, Tier 1, and a Town Hall. What I will do is I did time lapse a little bit of the town hall build. So I think what I'll do is we'll insert it. Hey, why not start off right off the bat with a little time lapse? Let's insert it right here. We'll be back. Okay, welcome back. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give you guys a wave. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I played a lot. I didn't re record too much of it. We uh, got our mystical agriculture going. We uh, got our one spell in our Ars Nouveau to help light up the uh, mines because the mines were, yeah, Darkness in this game is a real thing. That's all I have to say. Um, so what we did is we got the one seed going here. Not very much, but we are making some stone essence slowly. And we do need to make a few more essences and let this stuff go. And uh, maybe just AFK, I guess, on the server for a little while and get a little bit of resources. But this is a device that you need to do. Um, I got to rekey, rekey that one key so it doesn't keep taking off our, uh, what we're looking at. Oh man, these little dudes are killing all our people. We have lost so many people and I'm not sure what the spawn rules are for them. But it's annoying. So I think we're going to have to go look at that because I have so many graves. I have been cleaning them up. And I put this fence up. 
And I think they're just coming through the fence. I don't know what the spawn rules are for these guys. But it's the middle of the day. And they are popping up. Um, we did get a backpack. I'm going to just put that in there so we can pick up this pumpkin. So let me go take you for a little tour. So this is the town hall, level one. Uh, primarily made out of oak. Really nice little roof up there. But we have no walls and stuff. I don't know if the tier two. Oh, I forgot we were going to add a mod in here. I forgot we wanted to add that sitting mod so we could sit on these stairs. But uh, we'll add that. I do need to do an update anyways. There's a lot of uh, mods that need to be updated already. So look for 1.1. It might already be up by the time this video comes out. But that is the town hall. This is the little builder's hut. This one's not so bad. It is fenced in. But uh, I've had a mob come and spawn inside here too. So if I can figure out what is the spawn rules for those pumpkin dudes, then uh, we'll take care of that. The other option is um, we have torches and lanterns. We might have, do we have the mega torch? We do have a mega torch, two diamonds. I don't have the gold. I don't have the stuff to do that yet. So the mega torch is out. We do have, I think, the lantern mod in here too. Yeah, we might be able to figure out which one of these lanterns, if we have one, can also do the same type of stuff and help mob spawning. But with that, that's all we've got done. Yeah, not much. Our lovely book, our lovely book, our lovely boat got smashed in the rear end from a big serpent. Kind of wrecked our boat. Um, you can see like right here, it's like a whole section of wall missing. So I took the beds out, it's still afloat. Oh, there's whales here. Okay, I'm beginning to think we need to add a few more buildings. And what would we want to add? Um, I've got three NPCs. We could add a fisherman to help feed them, even though they can't cook it, but we can cook it for them. We could add a second builder's hut, uh, a guard tower, which probably is what we should be doing. So I think, let's go look at a guard tower. I think that's gonna help these guys. A guard tower and maybe, maybe a mine. So one of the things we have to go build is some pickaxe or some axes. So we can turn around just make some stripped ones here. This should work. There you go. And we're going to strip the wood while it's already hanging up here. Oh, wrong thing. Shapeless. We're gonna go check out this little builder who's gonna build some wall sections for us. Stripped oak log. Did we not make stripped oak log? Where did all that wood go? Oh, it's right there. Stripped oak log fencing for them and strip oak log wall. Twenty of them. Okay.
Oh. That's a pretty nice gem to uh, drop. Oh, even jewelry. Uh, that's a pretty nice gem to drop off the skeleton. We're running out of food. What can you? I do for you? Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, are we not building this yet? Build building. Okay, so we'll have a guard tower up. Um, let's change our work assignments so they don't auto hire. Ancient Athens name pack. That doesn't really matter too much. Colony flag, colony colors. Here we go. New citizen spawning. Sure, why not? Auto work hiring off. Auto citizen housing. We can leave that on for now. Okay. I'm just going to turn off the auto hire. Now, there are gaps in our wall, like right here, in these long sections. But when I was looking at it, when we upgrade them, it will fill in. So I guess we'll leave it for now. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. Our bodies move to the groove and the light the flickers. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter. I haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter. Feel the air can thin air. Standing in a blurry dream. No one else can see us. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is build your own. That's the side away. Feel the air get thinner. Okay, we're back, and we might have made a little mistake. Um, Let's show you. It dug like a pathway all the way around it on either side. And what's that? One, two, three high. So maybe if it went one more up, that would be four high. How tall are these? One, two, three, four. So it needs to come up by one and it needs to go over by one. I'm not sure why it dug out those trenches. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to repair this. I'm going to go up here and um, build options. Let's deconstruct it again. Deconstruct. Let's deconstruct it and then we'll try to uh, replace it. The other thing I'm thinking about is um, like Sasa was talking about Alex mobs and how they 
um, wrecked the underground or underwater build, which was our last build. And I believe they gave me a data pack or something to help fix it. But the serpent that wrecked the back was part of fire and ice. So I'm kind of thinking, unfortunately, we might have to turn off mob griefing because we can't have the whales constantly wrecking the docks. Like the idea that they can destroy it. It just adds that extra little bit of realism. But uh, technically, this ship would be sunk right about now. It uh, wouldn't survive. And, and that's the part of the non-realism with the whale. Uh-oh. That guy's really close. And I do not think we can deal with him. Could find out, though. I don't have enough food on me. Think we can handle him? Probably not. Where'd that crossbow go? Some attack damage? Maybe we need that. By the time we actually uh, face this guy, he's gonna be gone already. We had a crossbow. There it is. Okay, let's see if we can. Uh, Entice them to come and play. Oh, actually, we might be able to do this without any problem. Especially with this knockback. Okay, did he drop anything good? Uh, looks like a new tunic, which we probably could use. That's what he dropped right there. Drake's warning chainmail, curious of the forged god. Explosive damage taken through by 17. When attacked, inflict bad luck. It's two sockets. Mana regen four. Oh, that's going to be nice. Uh, plus 68 max mana. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be kind of good. Okay. That was well worth uh, fighting that little dude for. He popped up really quickly. Hey, dude, are you, uh, you're probably needing some tools. Let's take this, put that on. Look at that mana go up. Okay, so, well, he's working on that. Let's make another seed. And we're going to have to make some crops. I need this and I need it's flaxy probably these seeds I know these seeds work we're gonna make some inferium and unfortunately we have to lose some to gain some well we're only got enough for two do they have watering cans in here because if they have watering cans Oh, they do. Four bone meal and a... That wouldn't make it so bad. Four iron. Uh, we can make some bone meal. Let's see one of those. 
and a bowl, right? Um, it's all oak. I don't want to use oak up. Let's put these up here. We might be able to just use that wood. So let's try that wood out. Oh yeah, we could. Okay, so we need that. And then if we go over here, we can fill this up. Perfect. And I guess for now, let's just put it really close. Right here. It's just going to be our little planting area. I actually thought it would grow a little faster. mature we're just trying to get enough we'll, we'll get a couple of seeds down here and that will help then we can also automate it in a botany pot okay so I just got the ninth one going and grow these up again just to get a little extra. I like to put one into a hop in the botany pot. We're going to need a ton of this stuff, especially when we want to go to something like tier three for iron seeds, because I think, I think we're going to need quite a bit of iron. But it's a very slow process, and I, I do think that the uh, watering can was a good idea. We can upgrade this watering can. I don't know if I have enough stuff to really upgrade it yet. We've got enough for another seed. Let's look at the upgrade. Oh, yeah, it takes a lot. Infirm Ignits. Trying to remember how to make those. Prosperity Ignit. Okay, so four of those plus an iron bar to make one of those. And then I need four of those. Woo. So you need 16. This doesn't say it does a three by three, but that one says it does a three by three. I'm pretty sure this watering can is three by three also. Wow, these do some huge areas. The other thing we can look at. Um, we made these in our last game. Was it the life lantern? Pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. So, but we need golden apples, which I don't have. We got bone meal. Probably find some chicken eggs, melon. Well, we could just make a golden apple if we get enough gold. We could make these too. I don't know what the range of this is. I need a diamond, eh? And some basalt. But that's something else that we can look at. Our dude is still working on the tower. Okay, it's getting dark. Let's uh let's go back. I don't think we're gonna get the the tower repositioned in this episode. I think it's going to take too long. So what I'll do 
I think is that we're going to end this episode. He probably needs another pickaxe. That's my guess. That can go over here. Um, do we have any wood on us? Well, I guess that might work, right? Oh, yeah, that works. Okay. So I don't know if tough will work. So that should give him, does he need anything else? He might need an actual ax too. What can I do for you? Uh, it doesn't show that he needs anything. Yeah, he's going to need another ax. Let's get him an ax. Oh, he's quick. He's already up there. Okay, I'll just put this here. Okay, we'll let him take care of that. We probably could have made it a little easier for him. How are we doing over here? Get some stone essence. Two wood seeds now. Oak sapling. So three of them make... Oh, we can make charcoal. Oh, look at that mangrove. Okay, what makes nature essence? Oh, it's a tier two. Potato, sugar cane, cactus. Okay, so we're going to have to find a cactus. I don't think we have any cactus. I don't think these dudes. Um, This guy has some interesting stuff on him, though. This silver ring that's for iron spells and spell books. Uh -huh. I don't know what this apotheosis coin is for. Pathfinder's Quill Dark Forest. We don't really need that. Um, these are really nice. Protection five, mending, unbreaking five, rebounding. Melee attackers may find themselves much further away. Problem is, you need some diamond legs, and we just don't have diamond jet. Uh -huh. But one day, we will have enough stuff for that. I wonder if we should. Maybe we should. Uh, we could probably. Sorry, dude. kind of want these um it's not that i really wanted to kill him is we wanted the uh leads because we're gonna have to get some animals let's put that up there got a little bit more emerald Oh, you have leads too. Uh, white, no, no, swamp, no, we don't need it. Apple tree, we actually have. Okay. Well, we got four leads now. So that will be good for some animals. There's some pigs out there further out. We can grab those. Crown them up. Bring them back home. Okay, I think what we'll do is, like I said, we're going to end this episode. Let's go end it over 
at our town hall because it is pretty fancy. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to build this wall all the way down here and protect it. I'm probably going to protect the town hall. Um, I think maybe just a straight wall for now, all the way around it. We'll leave one entrance open. We're going to essentially block in the builder's hut, the, uh, town hall. Maybe a mine shaft and maybe a tavern. And we'll leave, that will give us four beds. One, two, three, four. That might be four jobs because I think the tavern might need somebody to work it. And we'll try doing it that way for now. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do a tavern and a mine shaft. Because these guys need a place to go to sleep. So maybe I'll put the tavern right here. And we'll, we can have the mine shaft actually outside of town. But let's see if we can fit the tavern in here. And have the wall go around these three buildings. And uh, that should protect everything. Okay. So I'm going to call it. Me and my mighty hammer over here. Wa bum wa bum Look at that. Don't want to mess around with me, do you? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Epic Games TV, and we are out of here. Take care, folks.